everyone, it's Technicolor Dust, and I'm finally back after a month without videos. As some of you may know, if you follow me on Instagram, wink wink, nudge nudge, or if you saw my last video, I'm a college student, specifically an art school student, and finals here take up a whole month rather than a week. And then I had to move out of my dorm and travel back home. So that ended up consuming most of my time. However, I did use what little free time I had to make this video. Yay! I know the school year is wrapping up for a lot of you guys. Except all the poor unfortunate souls that have to deal with APs this week and next week. Good luck you guys, I have remembered that like it was yesterday. But hopefully for the most part you guys are wrapping up this year well and can't wait for summer to come. For one of my finals, I had to make a storyboard for an already existing film. Basically, I had to imagine what the storyboards would have been like if I was one of the boarders of the movie. So I chose to do, sorry if I butcher his name, Jorge Gutierrez's The Book of Life. I've always really loved this movie. The story is very sweet and visually it's eye candy. The film is gorgeous and a lot of work was put into it to make it look as good as the concept art. They truly succeeded in that goal. Fun fact, the movie actually came out on my birthday too. For my final, I specifically boarded the apology song scene. After drawing Manolo many, many times, I fell in love with not only his character, but his design. So after I finished that final, I decided to digitally paint him. This painting for a while was a way to motivate myself to get my work done. Just imagine me dying in the animation labs whispering, if I can finish these in-betweens, then I can go back to my dorm and work on my Manolo painting. There are so many fun things about Manolo's design that I didn't even realize until I picked up the art book. I was reading through it to get some sources for the research portion of my final. From the beginning, his silhouette was planned out in a very specific way. He has a massive upper body and small legs to reflect his family's massive legacy crushing him. For those who haven't seen the movie, Manolo wants to be a musician, but he's pressured by his family to become a bullfighter. You even see it in his movements in the movie. He's much more graceful and thoughtful in even just his walk cycle compared to the other male characters. He also has a very specific hair curl that adds to his overall silhouette, and you can see that same hair curl on his love interest, Maria, near her eye, because she only has eyes for Manolo. It's really cute, okay? Manolo also literally wears his heart on his sleeve. There is an actual heart on his sleeve, and he's not afraid to show his emotions. I believe the heart itself is the Sacred Heart, which is a Roman Catholic symbol that's used in a lot of Mexican folk art. It represents Jesus' compassion, so I can see both representing Manolo's compassionate nature and also his love for Maria. Heart is also a recurring motif in the movie, as Maria also carved Always Play From The Heart into Manolo's guitar. Compassion and love are some of the movie's big themes, so I love seeing little details like that. Focusing on my art instead of gushing over one of my favorite movies, inking is actually one of my favorite parts of drawing digitally or traditionally. My friends are constantly teasing me about my massive pen, ink, and marker collection, and then begging me to put my pen away in the animation lab to save my wrist from redrawing 120 frames. So yes, I really love inking. I used to despise it when I first started drawing digitally and I would do anything to make it go faster, which made my ink work look very blah. I started hating my own line work so I sat down and forced myself to get better, which in turn made me really love it. I tried to put as many big sweeping lines in it as possible to give my piece a solid flow and play around with the line weight until I'm satisfied. Usually I like to have thicker, bolder lines but this time I decided to experiment with thinner lines. I also decided to color my lines this time, as I usually prefer to leave them black. Speaking of college, I know a lot of people wonder what art school is like, especially people who are trying to decide whether or not to go to one. I know I did when I was first looking for colleges. So my good friend Aaron and I want to do a collaboration Q&A sort of thing. I'm an animation major and she's an illustration major and we both have friends in a variety of majors, so we thought we could answer a lot of your guys' questions. Leave any questions you have in the comments below or DM them to me on Instagram. We'll collect them and make a really cool video with it. Back on the topic of my work, I wanted to stick to a warmer color palette with this piece since I thought that it would suit Manola's character much better. 
I try to match his colors with the movie as much as I can, since directly lifting it didn't seem to be working out too well. Even his jacket is a very muted brown to give the effect of a black jacket. Framing him is this bright red matador cave that's dispersing into marigold petals, which are heavily used in Day of the Dead, since it is believed that they guide the spirits to their altars. It is also reminiscent of the scene I chose since the giant skeleton bowl that Manolo soothes ultimately turned into marigold petals. I thought it was a fun way to frame the image and show Manolo embracing his music instead of blindly following his family's traditions and also mistakes. How did you guys feel about the music in this movie? I personally loved it, but I know a lot of my friends were thrown off because it was a jukebox musical rather than a traditional musical. However, I still think the covers were really enjoyable and Diego Luna's voice is perfect. Are any of you guys pumped for the Book of Life 2? Because I know I am. I remember reading somewhere that Gutierrez imagined that the story being told in three movies, the first being the Book of Life and focusing on Manolo, the second one focusing on Joaquim, and then the third one focusing on Maria. So this one's going to focus on Joaquim, and I loved his character arc in the Book of Life, so I'm really excited to see if he ends up sticking to that, and if he does, I really want to see what Joaquim's story would be about. Moving on to the shading of this piece, I initially choose to block everything out with a very hard cell shade, and then I go in later with a um, wet blending brush and smooth it all out. I thought that a softer brush style would suit this piece much more than if I chose to stick with a very hard cell shaded look. I actually haven't done a cell shaded piece in a while. I guess I'll add that to my list of things to do. I think one of the hardest parts about this piece, besides trying to find the time, was trying to figure out how I should draw Manolo's arms, because in the art book you see that even the artists of the movie were struggling to figure it out because he's a wooden figure so they had to plan out this mechanism for him to hold the guitar properly so even though i had that it's i still wanted it to be this very fluid piece and i really wanted this big sweeping curve for his arm so i think i spent about an hour alone trying to work out how i should do his arm in the sketch which i did not record because that would have been a mess <laughs> Another really difficult part for me was trying to draw the guitar. For some reason, I struggle with drawing musical instruments. So once I sketched it all out and inking it, I just gave up and used shapes because I couldn't get the curves that I wanted using just inking by hand. So shapes, that's the way to go sometimes, man. While I had a lot of fun adding the shadows of the piece, I loved adding the lights to this piece. Which is kind of weird because usually I prefer adding shadow, but I don't know, some for some reason the lights in this piece seriously make it pop. And I'm wondering if it's because I finally figured out how light and shadow is supposed to work. Thanks art school for helping me out here, I want to be a good artist. Yay. It's also one of my first attempts of adding colored reflective light into the shadow, which is not really noticeable just because it's orange in a really warm piece. But I figured that it still added just a nice glow to Manolo as he's playing the guitar. I also really loved how the marigold petals ultimately turned out in this piece. I have no idea why, I just really love it. It's one of those small things, I guess. I know it's not a huge painting, but I put in a lot of little details and it still took me a while. I think my footage ended up being like four and a half hours, which I know is way too much time probably for something like this. But you know, I'm slow. It's okay. As I finish up wrangling with the petals, I then decide to fight with the background. It was a really dumb mistake for me, honestly, to leave the background for last, but I guess because I was so caught up in all the little details of Manolo, I didn't stop a minute to think about what my background was going to be, so I just end up settling on this nice gradient. And that's my Manolo painting. If you like what you saw, let me know. Leave a comment, like the video, 
And if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you guys in my next video, and I hope you have a good one. Bye!